everybody. Welcome. My name is Carolyn Castaño, and I am an artist here in Los Angeles interviewing Kristen Austin, uh, who is also an artist. Welcome to the Beverly Hills Art Show. Well, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and your work? I am 27 years old, and um, I've been painting for about six years now. So before that, um, I was just kind of dabbling in a lot of different mediums or media, and um, it was more or less a hobby at that that time. And um, while I was in school, I was studying to uh, become a veterinarian. Um, so I studied biology. Um, I went to Pasadena City College after high school and got my associates in biology um, or natural science. And then I transferred to Cal Poly Pomona and got my bachelor's in biology. But around that time when I did, um, when I was like during, in the transferring process, I did take a painting class there with um, Jim Morphesis. And um, I kind of just fell in love with painting um, in acrylics uh, specifically. And uh, from then I just kind of realized that I can make artwork that's a little bit more permanent in, in my opinion, because it's like it's artwork on canvases and not just on, um, you know, sketch pads. <laughs> so um, from then on, I just kind of um, really um, became very interested in art and saw it as a possible career for myself. And um, Pasadena City College has a program called the Ujima Program. And they commissioned me to um, paint a mural um, for their program. And so I have two uh, permanent works um, wow. there. Yeah. So That's great. That kinda, yeah, that kind of like uh, took, took it away from me. Like, you know, I didn't have to go the science route, the science way, you know. <laughs> Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Do you want to uh, tell us a little bit about your, you, the kind of imagery that you paint? And I mean, you said you work in acrylic. What kind of work do you do? What kind of imagery? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I, I prefer acrylics. I kind of have developed my style as um, more realism, realistic paintings, um, probably more towards the surrealism mm -hmm. side of that, um, because I, um, I strive to represent um, the Black community, mm -hmm. uh, specifically, um, because, you know, I am, as an African American woman, I feel like representation is really important, and um, you know, I'm kind of painting from my own personal experiences as well, and just what I feel I relate to as an individual. And so the stories that are um, within the Black community um, and things that, you know, just people my age are going through um, in today's society, I try to really um, represent that and depict it in my paintings. And so I use realism because um to me um and um i this i say surrealism because i want to be able to place my subjects in um many different spaces you know whether they're real or imaginary spaces um just to make that statement that you know black people can occupy all spaces it doesn't have to just be one particular stereotype or um, one particular uh, familiar um, setting that you may see them normally. Tell us about a day in in your art life or what what is what would be a typical day for you or do you have you know a day job and then kind of segue on to your studio practice? What is a day mm -hmm. for Kristen like? Yeah, um, I definitely have a day job. So I'm still kind of developing as an artist and um, trying to figure out um, how I want to approach my career. 
um, moving forward. So coming straight out of college, I was working at a vet clinic. And so that was pretty much um, what paid the bills for me. And so um, I am currently um, volunteering at that same clinic. Clinic we still had, we had to actually close down um, time to um, take care of the animals that still board with us. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, that's so that's my day, my day job. And then um, uh, the other, my free time, I'm doing commissions or I'm working on my own pieces. Um, I try to really uh, schedule my time so that I can have time to work on my my art. I'm still kind of getting um, my schedule uh, in a in balance, mm -hmm. let's say, but I am working towards um, a full-time position in my art career um, because I really do want to uh, devote as much time as I can um, to my own work, but also, you know, doing commissions for, for others because I, I really do enjoy um, you know, kind of bringing their uh, visions to life as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was uh, checking out your website and kind of becoming familiar with your work. I love it. I love, I want the, the painting of Sade. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, and you know, just seeing um, um, kind of like you have prints for sale and you have commissions and um, portraits right uh, and your murals right uh, I went to PCC myself oh, too nice. and that's actually where I discovered um, my interest in art or started to to discover my interest in art mm -hmm. but you know a lot of artists uh, nowadays are right multifaceting their their kind of business approach right and like using social media using like selling prints doing art fairs Right. Um, and it's a full time job, right? Aside from, I mean, you have your day job and then you have your painting job, yeah. job yeah. and then you have then kind of balancing the business side of it. Is right. there, you know, how do you how do you do it all? I think before the pandemic happened, um, I really enjoyed doing art shows. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the uh, full experience of the Beverly Hills art show um, because we did have to cancel. And that was my first time applying for that show. Um, but I did a lot of other like pop up shows um, around Los Angeles, and I really did enjoy those. Um, as far as the business side, um, um, I'm really trying to now thinking about how I can develop multiple streams of income. I did recently start a Patreon mm -hmm. um, because I, I think in the future I would love to teach art. Um, I don't know in what capacity quite yet, but I would love to get more on the instructional side of art. Um, but for right now, um, I have the Patreon, which just kind of documents my process and and is kind of instructional in a way. Um, and then prints, you know, making prints is really um, probably the best way for me um, right now because um, it allows me to kind of just replenish my stock, uh, you know, when right. I need to. Um, and then I can just work on, um, you know, new pieces um, as I go along. Um, so I'm really trying to figure out, you know, how to balance everything still. Um, right now it is a struggle because I don't have as much time as I would like. Um, but when I do have the time, I just try to break everything down mm -hmm. to more manageable um, pieces. <laughs> right. And, yeah, and not try to bog myself down too mm -hmm. much because that can you know, stifle your creativity sometimes if you feel like you have too much on your plate. That's fascinating. I know a lot of people are, right, working on diversifying their studio practice and their income. And it's not like yeah. in the past, we had to wait for this big buyer collector to buy our work or support ourselves. And I've met many artists who make a lot of money from fairs from prints from you know conventions mm -hmm. um in general 
Uh, if, have you participated in many art fairs and how did you come to choosing and participating in the Beverly Hills art show? Yeah, um, so I've done a lot of pop-up shows. Um, so I uh, like uh, Raw Artists, I was a part of Raw Artists um, and the Chocolate and Art Show. Um, that's like a two-day show. Um, those were kind of like my regular shows. And then I did do um, like one gallery show in Inglewood, um, the Creative House. Um, but mostly um, a lot of the shows that I was in were more like pop-up shows that only lasted about a day or two. Um, but they were really fun. I really enjoy doing those. Um, and I heard about the Beverly Hills Art Show um, through another artist, Charles Bibbs. And um, I was really happy to get in. And um, unfortunately, it was canceled uh, because of the pandemic. But the virtual show was great um, to see. And um, I actually got first place um, for the painting Congratulations. Uh, division, yes, thank you. Do you have any crazy stories about any art fairs or interesting folks that you've met? I've definitely met a lot of interesting people. And that was probably one of the things that I love the most about the art shows is you know, really like being able to interact with people who admire your work. Um, and getting that in-person one-on-one support and um, encouragement. Um, so I, I really do enjoy um, that part of it. Um, as far as crazy stories, not so much. I think it's just the preparation for the shows is the craziest, you know? Um, luckily, I had my mentor who was helping me set up um, because he was he's pretty avid in um, making things look good. And so having his help kind of eased the stress of setting up for the show. Um, but as far as um, those go, I never had like any um, <laughs> unusual things happen. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, well, Kristen, thank you so much for speaking with me today and sharing with us some of your experiences and uh, stories about your work and how you got started. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us at the Beverly Hills Art Show, spring 2021. And we will be seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Ha 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 ha